Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to look at percentages and more specifically I'm going to show you how to do percentage increase and decrease. So here on the screen I've got one question for you which is which says uh, the Pacific Airline increased ticket prices by 8%, calculate the new price of the 2450 euro dollar ticket. Now the first thing you need to realize with this kind of question is whether you are increasing or decreasing. Now this one is quite clear because it tells us that we're talking about an increase of 8% and the original price is 2450. Now before I find the new price I need to find something called the multiplying factor. And to find this number, all I do is I need to realize that first of all, when I'm paying 2450, so let's say this is zero, this is 100%. Right, this is the original price, and that was 100% of the price. Okay, now if, I, if, if they are increasing the uh, ticket by 8%, it means that I'm gonna pay not 100%, but 108% because the original price was 100%. If I'm adding 8% more, it makes 108%. And obviously, because we're increasing the price, um, you know, this is the reason why we're getting 108%. So once I find this number, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that into a decimal number by putting 108% is the same thing as 108 over 100 because the percent mean out of 100 and 108 divided by 100 is 1.08 and this number is very important it's called the multiplying factor okay as i mentioned to you before here so step number two you're gonna do 2450 which was the original price of the ticket and you're going to multiply this by the multiplying factor which is 1.08 next all you have to do is get a calculator and you're going to type in 2450 so 2450 times 1.08 and that gives us 2,646 US dollars and this is how you find the new price of the tickets if it has been increased by 8% alright now let's look at another example where this time instead of having an increase we have a decrease so the population of England was 4 million the Black Death reduced the population by 37.5% and what we need to do is find a new population. Now again, if I was to draw a line representing how many people we had, so let's say this is zero and let's say this is 100%. Now here the keyword is that it's reduced the population by 37.5%. Now, if it's been reduced from 100%, where do you think it's going to be? And it's quite clear that it's going to be somewhere around here where I'm going to 100 take away 37.5. Now, how much is 100 take away 37.5? This is equal to 62.5. So 62.5 would be here. So as you can see here, we started off with 100% which was uh, the 4 million and we know for a fact the population has been reduced by 37.5% so what I've done is I've done 100 take away 37.5 and that's given us 62.5% and just like the other example I'm going to find the multiplying factor so I'm going to do 62.5% means that it's 62.5 out of 100 and if I work this out 
using a calculator. 62.5 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.625. And step number two, I'm going to use my original number, which was 4 million. So I'm going to do 4 million. And I'm going to times this by 0 0.625. And again, if I take the calculator, 4 times 0 0.625, it gives me 2.5 million. So the population of England was 2.5. Five million after the black death. Okay, so this is it's about percentage increase and decrease. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions or if you have any requests, leave them in the comment box and I'm going to try my best to answer to you. Okay guys, I'll see you in another video tutorial soon. Take care, bye bye.